Hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here at my next Legend of Korra news update video. Third one this week, which I suppose is somewhat fitting given that like nearly every other show is kind of taking a break off for the um, uh, you know winter kind of Christmas season. So yeah, Korra, which is digital, is actually getting most of its news now, it's just coming to an end. So uh, yeah, first piece of news, we have the last four episode titles for Korra overall. We now know the names of episodes 10, 11, 12, and 13, remaining four episodes of the show. Episode 10, which is tomorrow's episode, this Friday's episode, that is called Operation Beifong. Um, episode 11 uh, is called Kuvira's Gambit, and then episode 12 is called Day of the Colossus, and 13 is called The Last Stand. Now, obviously, the um, airing schedule is episode 10, tomorrow, episode 11 next week and then the following week we get 12 and 13 that's the plan december 19th is the finale two episodes so yeah the, these titles um are pretty cool like obviously funny next week's episode is called operation bay fong works makes complete sense given um the setup at the end of last week's episode and the clip that we have um and now we've also found out because some reviewers have got their preview copies and they've kind of given the summary of the episode. Um, there's also a side plot uh, involving Korra going to the spirit world to get help. And now this is something I didn't really speculate on because like, uh, it's one of these things where I think a lot of people actually forgot about this given what happened in last week's episode. Um, Korra went to, saved everyone from the spirit vines. But did she solve the actual problem of the spirit vines attacking people? That, 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 I think that's a big thing that a lot of people actually forgot. And this plot actually coming back up, like, what's Korra going to get help for exactly? Um, I'm, I was kind of wondering, what exactly is she doing it for? But then I'm like, wait, did Korra actually resolve the problem with the spirit vines? Maybe in doing her spirit bending thing, she, like, healed them? But realistically, it's probably still a plot point that um, she's going to have to resolve that in the spirit world. Now, what exactly is going to happen? That's a big thing. Um... Who does she go to? Interesting. But, um, I suppose let's go back to a thing that's been set up back in Avatar The Last Airbender. It's a spirit, Ko, um, the mother of Face's son, uh, she, uh, he said, um, to Aang, I will see you again. So, you know, maybe that'll happen in, uh, Korra. She'll get to meet Ko for the first time. That would be interesting, it would be amazing continuity if that happens. It's just complete speculation at this point. Probably won't happen, but it's uh, something interesting to think about. Um, so th so that, that, that's a pretty cool thing going forward into tomorrow's episode. That we're going to get more spirit world stuff. And yeah, uh, it would make sense that, that, it, that it would be her kind of fixing the problem with the vines, stopping them from attacking people. Um, otherwise, it's maybe just like asking for the spirit's help in actually taking down Kuvira or something like that. I'm not really sure. Um, but episode 11, Kuvira's Gambit, this makes sense that given whatever happens in tomorrow's episode, if the rescue operation goes out successfully or fails, that Kuvira is maybe going to capture some of the people. Maybe some people will be rescued, some people won't be. Kuvira makes capture some people and makes some play. Obviously that's the word Gambit. Something like that. So she's going to do something and maybe this will be where her full plan comes out. What she's actually planning to do next comes out. Because that's the big thing we're looking for now in the next four episodes. What exactly is Kuvira's overall plan going into the finale? Um, so makes sense that episode 11 will be probably where we get most of that. Episode 12 being called Day of the Colossus. It's definitely the most interesting of the remaining titles that we have left. Um, Colossus interesting word there given that like we don't really have any like ancient beings that we would refer to as like colossuses or anything like that um so this pre presents the idea that probably what Kuvira is planning for the spirit weapon is that she's made some giant mech suit that is going to have like a spirit cannon installed on it or something like that and this is her end goal thing this giant machine to take over the world maybe I'm not, again, not really sure, but some sort of a uh, giant um, thing makes sense to be um, what this Colossus is, some giant machine of some sort. And um, who knows, it could be some giant spirit that is actually referred to as a Colossus, but 
I'm not really sure. And then obviously the last episode of Korra overall, season finale for uh, book four, The Last Stand. So makes sense as a final episode, some big final battle. Whose last stand is it? Is it Korra's last stand or what? Um, very interesting to see how to resolve it given this title. It's not like Avatar Korra is the final episode title. As I know a lot of people want it and uh, to some extent, yeah, I would agree that that would make a really cool title, but they haven't gone for it, so that's fine, but um, hopefully um, it'll be a good way to conclude the series, so that's that. So yeah, there are remaining four episodes, and uh, yeah, after tomorrow, just two weeks left of Korra, and that's going to be pretty interesting. Um, final thing to say, just, you know, Book 3, Change DVD uh, and Blu-rays are out right now in America. My copies, sh uh, I think it's shipped on Monday, so it should be here um, in the next, uh, I think it's meant to be here like in a week or two, so um, I I'll definitely probably have it before Christmas and I'll get a review out when it does arrive. But um, other than that, uh, definitely in the comments, let me know what your thoughts are on the remaining uh, four episode titles. Um, especially Day of the Colossus, I really want to know what people are thinking about what the Colossus actually is. Um, I think most people just assume it is some sort of giant piece of machinery, uh, giant mech tank or something like that. But uh, yeah, that's been the video. Thanks for watching and bye.